well hi youtubers hi some back another taste testing and costa coffee they've launched a new bottle range okay so could get the cans you know the flat white the vanilla latte but now they've kind of branched out into fat okay or frappe here you go so they've got three on the market one is smooth coffee uh one is caramel swell okay and one is chock fudge brownie now i had to go to three separate ones to actually get these okay because but I thought I'd give it a try. Now, I'm a caffeine addict. Um, a bit of a long one in joke, okay, because I absolutely love coffee. And uh, hey, maybe because I grew up in a coffee factory. I'm from a place in Hayes, um, Middlesex. And um, where Nettles Coffee used to be. So, you can always smell coffee in the air. It's gone now. It's flat, because of course it is. And um, also, <laughs> my family Brazilian. So, hey, you know, it's in the DNA, I guess. So... Let me try this one first. Now, per bottle, this one is 250 mils. It's 8% um, okay, of, I think, like your daily allowance. okay, And it is 150 calories. Okay. So I thought I'd try this one first. Now, lids, I've got that thing around them. I had to take that off first because my nails are like non existent. So, try the first one. Here you go. Try the smooth coffee, rich and creamy. Okay. Okay, first scent you can really it smells very kind of latte ish, you know, it's coffee but very kind of milky coffee. Uh glass is a Bailey's glass because that's how I roll. And uh oh look how thick that is. That is really, really thick. Hmm. Put that in there. Hmm. Wow. I'm impressed. It's thick. Very, very thick. Very like a milkshake. It's very much like a milkshake. It is like a milkshake. However, it's very milky. You get like the strong kind of scent of the coffee taste. Um, you really get a bit of vanilla as well. Kind of secondary taste going on. You know what this reminds me of? I tried. It's got to be like a Bailey's taste to it. Yeah. Bailey's obviously about the alcohol, but there's very, very much of an alcohol free Bailey's, which I want to clean up. I'm actually drinking the glass out, or go figure. Now, I'm actually impressed with this. This is really, really good. This is a winner. No, I know. I'm blown away by this. Normally, straight, drinking straight coffee, because normally I'm a, I like, to, you know, I love coffee, but normally I could taste to it like a bit of hazelnut or vanilla, or yeah, sometimes a Halloween pumpkin spice. But this, this is lovely. No, I'm impressed. I'm absolutely impressed. Mm. One thing I like about it is very easy to drink. There's no bitterness or sharpness, which you often get sometimes with a lot of coffee, especially with canned coffees. This is so smooth. I'm impressed. This is like an alcohol free Bailey's. Mm. That's great. No, I'm impressed. Uh, smooth coffee lives up to its name. It's nailed it. It's taken down the brief. I'm gonna try camera swell and then chocolate brownie, but this is delicious. Kiddos, what well unto you what well unto you, um Costa. And I'll be back soon. Bye now. Hi YouTubers, hi and I'm back with another Costa taste testing. And I did one yesterday, which was a smooth one, which is kinda of like a Bailey's, but about the Bailey's. Um <laughs> like the whiskey basically, but it's gorgeous. And this is the caramel swell, okay. Much like before, per um, bottle is 145 calories, okay? And uh, so, I'm actually impressed with this. This is pretty, pretty good. So, what else can I tell you about it? Um, I'm going to put any ingredients under this. But, um, caramel flavoured coffee drink with milk and Costa signature blend coffee. Old heat treated, okay? So, let's give it a whirl. Now, I'm sounding like an absolute fright, but I've just finished work. I know, I know. So... Give it a swell, as they say. Okay, well, first impressions of the caramel swell of the coffee frappe is a very, very strong sense of caramel. It is very, 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 very strong. I'm impressed. I'm really, really impressed by this. Okay, so, first impression is pure caramel, very kind of milky caramel. Kind of like the caramel milk. But not the um, UK version, 
but the Australian one. I did a taste test of both versions because they did launch a UK version of um, um, cow milk, Cadbury's cow milk, which um, the Australian version wins hands down and the UK version is terrible. This reminds me of the Australian caramel milk. Okay, so, salute. Here we go. Oh, wow. First of all, the coffee is a more stronger, sorry, there's a strong taste of coffee. You get that. You really get that. But the caramel is stronger than. So it's kind of like this much coffee made that, that much caramel. So they're blending really, really well together. Normally, it's like you get a mocha. Or is you get the strong taste of coffee and as you go down, you get the chocolate. Okay? Like a treat. This is just running straight through it. There is no tones, if you will. It blends beautifully. No, I'm impressed by this. This is incredible. Another one. Mm. It's rich. It's creamy. It's actually it's blowing my mind. This is lovely. No, no, I am really, really impressed with this range. Normally, Kate is one that's not particularly good. Costa have really, really put a lot of thought to this. This is a really good coffee drink for someone who doesn't like their coffee too strong. So, I like the vanilla lattes or that kind of thing, the ones in the cans. This is more milkshake. This is more like a caramel coffee milkshake kind of blend. No, it's impressive. It really, really is. It's a nice fusion. I thought I would find this too sweet, and it is sweet. But it's a, it's a perfect blend. It is a perfect blend. Well done. No. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm impressed. They can have more caramel than it is coffee. But this as a blend is absolutely absolutely sublime. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done, Costa. So I've got the brandy one tomorrow. Try that one day. And, and uh, I said I taste, but God, oops. Two of these drinks so far are absolute winners. I'm impressed. Absolutely impressed. So, to you, Costa. Well done, you. Marvellous. And see you tomorrow. Yo, bye now. Hi, cheers. Hi, I'm back with the last of the Costa Frappe taste testing. I've said the best for last. I think I have. Chocolate fudge brownie. Okay, now, each show retail about 180 Um, straight in. Sometimes you find them in the high street, like, you know, Tesco's or Sainsbury's and all that. I only could find these in Costa, okay? Maybe they're going to expand again to other markets, but right now only Costa themselves can you try these. Now, on its strength, it says strength 2, okay? And um, calorie-wise, this is a 250 uh, mils bottle. In total, it's 150 calories, okay? So, in a sort of bottle. But, what a treat myself, as you do. And uh, let's give it a taste. I've already taken the protective seal off and just dropped the lid, which I'll put there. And uh, that's it. Back with the Bailey's glass. I like drinking out of Bailey's glasses. If you're drinking like a milkshake at a Bailey's glass, it always tastes better. Okay? So, um, let's uh, give it a try. Now, consistency is very thick. Okay? And I've put that down there. And um, give it a try. Wow, you can really smell the brownie in this. Okay, first, really get the very, very strong brownie taste. It smells very sweet, but can you get the, the coffee taste to go along with it? Okay. So, here we go. Mmm. I don't think this is the best one. I think the camo one's the best. Or actually the first one, the original. This is very sweet. You can't get much of the coffee taste. All it tastes, this basically just does taste like... This is more like a chocolate fudge brownie milkshake than in here coffee. The coffee is like a secondary hit. It's kind of like sweet to sharp. Very, very quick. Normally you just drink further down there, you get more taste of the coffee, and that is true. Top bit here is very, very sweet. Going down. Mm. And now I thought it would be the best, but no, nah, I think it's definitely either the original or the caramel. 
but it's nice. I find it a bit too sweet. Come on, finish the bottle. Yeah, why not? I find it a little bit too sweet personally, but it's not bad. Not the best though, but it's nice to try new things. And if you aspire to try them, let me know which one's your favourite. I am really, really interested to know. And here we go. Now, I normally love, you know, this kind of like choc um, Costa blend, but not the best. But anyway, fun trying them. Let me know which one's your favourite. And take care, everyone. Uh, stay safe, y'all. Mm -hmm. Sign off. And bye now. But no. No, not the best. But really addictive. The figure. The figure, it's not the best, but I can't stop drinking it because it's not. Hey, hey, coffee is an additive, okay? Oh, thank you. An addictive. I'm signing off. I definitely sign off. Bye now.